Good morning. Let's welcome October 28th, Monday, with prayer. Father, we welcome this Monday, last Monday of October 2024. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Bless this day in Jesus' name. Amen. Cheers. Back at Sejong. We're going to continue on with Job 19. We're going to finish 19 today. This is Job speaking. My relatives stop coming by, and my close friends have forgotten me. Those who live in my house and my servant woman consider me a stranger. I'm a foreigner in their sight. I summon my servant, but he does not answer, though I beg him with my own mouth. My breath is offensive to my wife. I am loathsome to the children of my own mother. Even young children despise me. When I stand to speak, they turn their backs on me. My friends and loved ones have turned from me. I am nothing but skin and bones. I have escaped only by the skin of my teeth. Have mercy on me, my friends. Have mercy, for God's hand has struck me. Why do you pursue me as God does? Will you never get enough of my flesh? Wow, so grieving, so moving. I almost broke out into tears. Job is saying, man, even my servants who treated me like God at one point, they abandoned me. They don't even come to me when I call them. Why? Because, well, he cannot afford to feed them. He's no longer a good patron in the patron-client relationship. Well, patron does not provide for the client. Well, it's no longer the relationship stands. So, sayonara, you know, you're gone. And so he's so grieved. He says that, I'm being forgotten. <sighs> being forgotten is worse than being hated. When you hate somebody, at least you remember. But not even to think about you or talk about you. What was the name? What was that name? What's that guy's name again? Man, I forgot. Wow, that would be the saddest day. At least you have someone to hate. You could name someone you hate, but when you've forgotten. So this is wow. Just being forgotten by your friends. Those who live in my house and my servant whom consider me stranger, I'm a foreigner in their sight. See, it's the lifetime servanthood. It's not like Job paid a monthly salary. They are lifetime servant. They were born servant. And, and he had literally hundreds of these. And none are taking care of him. There's no royalties. They're gone looking for a job probably, but although they are legally still owned, so Job could actually sell them and make profit. But of course, Job being righteous man would not do that. So even Job uh, servants consider him foreigners. You know what? And that, I think that's one of the things that I love about living in Korea for the last two months. You know, that no one asks me where you're from. And then, you know, it's kind of a strange thing lived in America for 52 years and people still ask me where are you from and so well, I'm from Korea originally here last two months no one asked me so where are you from why because I'm just Korean and they're Korean that's kind of a neat kind of a feeling you know as an immigrant it's this it's hard to kind of experience but I'm experiencing it now so for him, like, what? You treat me like foreigner? Are you kidding me not? Are you kidding me? And he said, even my servant do not answer. It literally means disobey. <coughs> they are rightfully, legally owned by Job. So Job could do whatever he wants with them. Matter of fact, the law protects the owner, even if the owner kills them for right, for right reason. But they disobey me publicly, openly. I tell them to come. They don't even come. I beg them with my own mouth. I say, I, please come. They disobey. My breath is offensive to my wife. <laughs> oh, man. Our breath is offensive to each other as a spouse. Isn't it? The morning breath. Oh, right. So, but it's, it's, she is, she actually said, curse God and die, right? Took off. So, so I don't know. Is pretty strong. I am loathsome to the children of my own mother. Well, of course, all the children died, right? So the loathsome to children of my own mother, meaning his siblings, his brothers and sisters, 
whom he probably provided for and loved and had party many occasions, the siblings turn away. Wow. They turn their backs on me. Even young children despise me. When I stand to speak, they turn their backs on me. Right? It's like, who are you? Who are you to talk to us? You know, it's just like some of the spiritual children that I had turn their backs on me because they consider me a failure. You did not grow your church. You did not become a famous pastor like so-and-so, you know. Well, you don't live in fancy homes and you don't really display God's blessing, the, the prosperity gospel blessing. You should be living in a million, you know, $10 million home driving Ferrari. What's your problem? God must not love you. So even some of my own the disciples, they turn, they don't talk. Matter of fact, they publicly say, yeah, we don't really talk about you, Pastor O. I'm like, wow, thanks. You know, it's like, yeah, the, the old guy that we at once knew, and they were probably, but what was his name again? Maybe, I don't know, maybe not that bad, but yeah. It, it's the emotional, it's not, it's not issue with, they physically turn their, but no, they just really emotionally uh, turn their back. We don't want anything to do with you. We don't want to see your face. My best friends and loved ones have turned from me. Shun like disease. Wow. Shun my disease because of our sick. Because he was scales and he's gross. He looked terrible, right? Wow. My bones cleave to my skin and to my flesh. And I am escaped with skin of my teeth. <clears throat> that expression, the skin of my teeth. Does teeth have skin? No. So it's just like... The teeth has no skin, right? So escape we means that it was the margin of error was 0. 0.0001 meter. You know, when you see YouTube, sometimes they show like motorcycle passing and then car passing, you know. I don't know why they show that. Maybe it's the algorithm, maybe. But it's like, oh my gosh, it was nanosecond. He was going at 100 miles, he was going 100 miles, they're like, Phew! That moment is called miss each other by skin of teeth because their skin has no teeth. Skin has, no, teeth has no skin. Skin has no teeth. Because the teeth has no skin. Ellicott commentary, hey, I said that. Ellicott commentary says the same thing. Because the teeth has no skin. Because teeth has fallen out. Mm, no, probably not. Because uh, Ellicott says that, well, maybe because his teeth has all fallen out. No. Because Bible says that the Lord blessed him twice. As more children, more property, more possession. What's the point of having your, all your teeth fallen out and not being able to eat? That would be a blessing. So I think it's, talk, it's an expression. Not that physically the teeth has fallen. He says, have mercy on me, my friends. Have mercy for God's hand has struck me. Why do you pursue me as God does? Are you God? You never get enough of my flesh? Wow. He's pleading with them, please. Job expressed his deep suffering and plea for pity in Job 19.21, similar to the suffering of servant Isaiah. Consider Ruth and Acts. How would you support others who are enduring great suffering? And what does teach about God's hand to, to be a lie to our lives? Mm. In Acts 13.11, Paul demonstrates the severity of God's judgment, but also implies the need for repentance and compassion. These examples teach us to approach others with empathy and support, recognizing their suffering as an opportunity to reflect God's love and mercy. We learn that God's hand, even in times of hardship, is part of his greater plan for growth and redemption. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you in our grace and love, compassion, <coughs> to be gracious to those who are suffering. Love them in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, really, Lord, when we see our friends suffer, let us not be like God and judge, judging. Who are we to judge them, Lord? Just compassion. Identify. There will be empathy. Connect and understand first, Lord God. Help us, Lord, today, that when we run into someone who's suffering, God, oh, there will be empathy. There will be sympathy. There will be holding of hands and weeping over shoulders with them, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Lord bless you. See you tomorrow.